back with you. Before we start hey, the episode, man. hi. Before we start the episode, I'd like to mention a quick few things. All right, go ahead. First, you almost have a different color hat. It's because I am starting. I'm starting the school year soon, and I'm wanting to you know change it up a bit. You've upgraded, yeah. or you've not upgraded, upgraded if you, you want to say it. Yeah, you switched. And another thing, if you're wondering, we have apparently. You found out that there's going to be a new thing next year coming out with a Volume 3 Archives. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see if it actually comes out next year. It sounds like he's working on it. So that it, could be next year or like five years from I now. I hope it Who does. Knows? It's likely going to be from 1977 to around 81, 82, 83 or something. He might have trains to work Yeah, he's, yeah, he's we'll got see. other cooks in the or uh, other irons in the fire. I'm excited to see some trans stuff and some... Reactors. Well, Me too. Uh, this could that could be a very Treasure interesting shows. and fruitful yeah um, period of outtakes that might be in many ways better than some of the original recordings. But whatever, you know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And so the video we're doing is Toast, the Young Green yeah. Horse Toast. Now I will say about this album. First of all, I love this title. I just love that it's just called Toast, and it's called that because of the studio he recorded at, which I believe was San Francisco. And we it's have toast. Yes, we have someone who thinks it's a very simple name. A visitor for this video is going to come on screen. Come on on screen, visitor. <laughs> oh my god. This is Ginger. Hi. This is Ginger. You might have remembered her. You saw her on screen on our video Harvest Moon. Yeah, I'm uh, nine now. <laughs> Sorry, it's trying to yeah. get more space. Hey, you want to get in the middle here? All right. Um, what I can say about toast? Yes. Well, you can't see me. Okay, go so, ahead. the only uh, th song I really remember, because we were chatting away most of the time and I got lost in my thoughts... Is the first it, track, Quit, right? Yep. Let's it was it kind of funky at the beginning, a little slow. I kind of liked it, but I can tell you it's not my favorite song in the world. Let's insert it okay. right here. Don't say you love me. So what's the name? What's the deal with toast? Toast. toast? It's well, was, similar. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. It's similar to album "Are You Passionate," which you can check out on screen at the end of the video. It has some songs that are on "Are You Passionate." Let's. Uh, we can talk about those later. We can talk about which songs are on "Are You Passionate." "Quit" is on "Are You Passionate," except it says "Quit." Don't say you love me. Which, as you heard in the preview, mm -hmm. the background sing is saying "Don't say you love me." That's so, what she said. So that half of this album was never released before. The other half ended up on Are You, Are you passionate? passionate with different titles, different recordings, with the exception of uh, one of the songs is is just is this exact same recording. Yeah. And this is a Toast is an album with Crazy Horse. Yep. Neil and Crazy Horse. It's seven tracks. Uh, it's pretty sort of long songs, more than 13 minutes. So apparently he was in a very sad, another one of these states where he was in a very sad mood. He was, his wife Peggy, I guess they were having issues and yeah. they were, you know, he recorded this with a very somber mood. That's probably why he made an album called Are You Passionate with like love stuff. Well, no, so what happened was this, is he made these songs and with Crazy Horse, with Frank San Pedro, or Pancho San one of the last albums of him being on it, well, not true, but... He's, you know, he, he's no longer in the band. But anyway, they made these songs and apparently they went to tour Brazil and Argentina, South America. And according to Crazy Horse, when they came back to record these songs, they everything had a Latin feel to it, which seems a little strange. I, I don't know if that's true. And there was one thing we were I don't hear a Latin feel. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's mid. Yeah, maybe it's kind of a more mid tempo, which is true. There was one thing we forgot to mention. This is an archived album from 2001. He recorded it in 2001. Yes. He never, he decided not to put it out at, in its original form, but as usual, he took some of those songs and for whatever reason, he's like, screw Crazy Horse, I'm going to get the MGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, yeah. And he got the so, MGs to record three of these songs for Are You Passionate? Yes. So, so those songs are, we mentioned, kind of mentioned it, but they re recorded Quit, Quit yes. How You Doing. Renamed it Mr. Disappointment. Yes, How You Doing is renamed Mr. Disappointment. We'll talk about How You Doing later. I wonder if that was an insult that was hurled at him. I don't, was a strange choice. Yeah, and, and then, then Boom Boom Boom, boom became boom, boom, boom. She's a Healer on Are You Passionate. Boom Boom is the last track of the album, which is called She's a Healer, and there's a song called Going Home, which is, is the same exact recording. Is the only, only song on Are You Passionate that is exactly from this 
album. But the one, and, and it's in the same state. But the one Are You Passionate apparently is about a minute longer, so I don't know what's up with that. Now, I want to say, I was actually excited about this album because I really liked that it was called Toast. And I really liked that it seemed, he, he called it, he quoted it like a sort of alternate to Tonight's the Night. He, he, he thought of this as the same spirit as Tonight's the Night. Yeah. Just because he was depressed. I, well, maybe, and he talked about this album for like 20 years as being in the vault, and everyone's been was excited about hearing it. Well, Tonight's the Night is when he was depressed about Danny Whitmore dying? Danny Whitten, yeah, yeah well, and other people dying, and um, it was a tough time for him, but... Yeah. So he decided to, uh, that these songs just were from a, another situation, like similar to Homegrown. He thought that it was from a time where he was too too upset, he didn't want to revisit them, and uh, he left them in the vault. Now, these songs are kind of, what would you say, they're kind of rocking? Not yeah, like... yeah, some of them are. Well, I, Quit isn't really rocking. Yeah. Standing in the Light of Love, the next track is. Mm-hmm. But again, they're kind of mid-tempo. And, um... I like Going Home. Going Home is my favorite track on the album. It's the third track. Going home. It's not, it, again, it, it doesn't, they, he really wasn't trying to do anything special on this album. They're kind of straightforward. Crazy Horse is kind of in the Crazy Horse mold. Uh, this is, was underwhelming. I, I was actually yeah. thinking this would be a strong album. I, it followed Silver and Gold, which if I remember correctly, we quite liked. Do you remember Silver and Gold? Don't remember Silver and Gold, but I remember the, That's the one that Kevin, album. Kevin uh, had a segment on that one. He was on there? Yeah. I think he recorded it from yeah. his house. Yeah. Um, according to Frank Pontro right. San Pedro, it felt like there was something wrong with Neil, who had trouble writing songs. Yeah, Silver and Gold. And they went to South America in the middle of the session. Silver and Gold was the album from 2000, 2000, before this. Yeah, so what else can we say about it? Um, not incredibly, you know, not well reviewed or revered by his fans, but um, it's got some good moments. I think some yeah. good moments. Yeah, I like Going Home. I yeah. like Gateway of Love. Gateway of Love, yeah. Boom 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 is a funny name and I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't appreciate how you're doing. <laughs> you're not into how you're doing? I don't really like... Uh, what is it about a line again? Something about power. Timberline. Timberline. I don't like Timberline. Standing the Light of Love, meh. Seven tracks. Um, yeah, let's, so it's Quit? Quit is co-written by Frank San Pedro, apparently. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't really, I think, what was the one, I, maybe it was Going Home was the one I was most interested in. Mm-hmm. With Neil Young, it's you. sometimes he shelves things and you kind of understand, and other times you're like, wow, I can't believe he let a song like Goodbye Christians on the Shore just sit in the in the vault for 50 years. Yeah, Goodbye Christians on the Shore is a great song. We'll try, yeah. Goodbye Christians on the Shore is a great song. Yeah, that was in the archives part two. Yeah. Any case, um, it finally came out last year. This came out in 2022 in the summer of 2022. And the tracks are Quit, uh, Standing in the Light of Love, <laughs> Going Home, Timberline, Gateway of Love, How You Doing, and Boom Boom Boom. And I will say this. This is what I will say. He traded down. The Are You Passionate was is weak Not compared. Very good. This one is is a little underwhelming. Are You Passionate really? I got a little. I got kind of turned my stomach a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turned my stomach. Are you passionate? Yeah. Are you nauseated? No. Oh, yeah, one yeah, other thing. Yeah. He recorded these songs before nine eleven. Oh. And Are You Passionate? He definitely had a bunch of songs that were influenced yeah, yeah. by those events, like Let's Roll. Oh God, that was really embarrassing. Oof, rough. Let's but anyway. Roll. Don't remember Let's Roll. No, you, it's forgettable. It's trust very me. Very forgettable. Is that now, a song from Are You Passionate? Song from Are You Passionate? Yes. Yeah, it was okay. a stinker. So, Shaggy's? We're already there. Mm-hmm. Shaggy's? I think we're there. I mean, what else can you possibly say about this? Record? I guess so. Not really much to say. Good cover. Good. I like the cover art on this. Yeah, you, you oh. checked out the cover earlier. It Side was on bar. my face. On Real my quick. Face. We do not own this album on record, CD, cassette, tape, anything. We wanted to listen on the Neil Young archives, and, and we are paying subscribers, Neil. And what the hell? Why are certain things why not, is on, not there? on there? It was on the computer, but it's not on. It wasn't on Dad's phone. But what are we paying you for? But you can get it on. The phone he has now. three. By we the way, just to mention this, let's put it out there. 
He has three different kinds of subscribers. Classic, Rust, and Patron. I know, but this is a standard release. Anyway, I don't, I, a little rant there. So, Shakey's. Yeah, Shakey's, uh, six. I think I like Barn a little better. They're not they're not re- recorded at the same time, or but they were released on around the same time. I'm going to give this one... You gave Barn four. I think and you said Barn... I did it four? Yes. You remember. And you said it was harsh. You upped it to a five. I think... <laughs> I got a flip-flop list. I think... You think this is better? Barn, Barn was, was meh. This was meh. Can I give this a four? So Barn you like better? I like Barn better than I liked this. I, I would say I, I agree like with that. I like that one track. I thought I enjoyed going home. That had, you know... Um, there was... Oh, one of them had a harmonium in it. Yeah. It had the harmonium in it. It might have been that nice. one. I think that sure? was the one... I'll get. I'll give it a. I'll there give was, it. A, there was some Cortez the Killer vibes, weak ones on that uh, song, but it was distant. Distant. <laughs> Cortez I'll, the something. I'll give it a five. I'll st- I'll go to five for that. Yeah, I think. I don't know. It, it's very, very, very forgettable. Solid four. I can't. Uh, not very forgettable. It's it's one to hear and experience and be like, all right, I've heard it. I can't remember any albums I gave ten shakies. If any of you guys can remember it, I don't really remember it. Silas forgot about Tonight's the Night being Hanu's favorite album, which I... No, not Tonight's the Night. Time Fades I'm Away. I'm sorry. Time Fades, Time fades, fades Away. away. Hanu's favorite album. No, I know that, but we were... Anyway. Silas forgot about that whole episode. Yes. That one. Yeah, Time Fades Away. Yeah. I like the song, Time Fades Away. Yeah. So that's it. We're going to say goodbye. Um, wait a second. I wanted to... Did everyone... Yeah. I, hope every, I hope we were clear about Toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we were jumping around a little bit. Do you want to say one more I thing? I think I had one more thing to say. So, one, one more thing we're going to say. Upcoming album is Noise and Flowers, another promise of the real album. Ugh. It shouldn't be that bad. What's well, wrong there's with only the one way. Hopefully, the they reels? can only go up because I don't. I did not like those promises. And the then real we album. have a few more. Th- and then we have a few more things. Yeah. Yes. All we right. Have, uh, yeah. World record after that should be interesting. All right. Great. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Bye.